Welcome to Trump Breaking News Network. Your daily source for up-to-date news on the political scene of Donald Trump, his presidency, American politics and conspiracies. Please subscribe to receive notice of our daily updates, also share with your friends and your social media. We encourage you to like our videos and give your comments. This is TBNN. Following Trump tweet, North Korea reopens communications channel with South Korea. On Monday North Korean communist tyrant Kim Jong-un declared North Korea nuclear power. Little Rocket Man added that he has a nuclear button on his desk. President Donald Trump was quick to stick back with a fire tweet stating. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un just stated that the nuclear button is on his desk at all times. Will someone from his depleted and food-starved regime please inform him that I too have a nuclear button? but it is a much bigger and more powerful one than his, and my button works. Well, of course, organizations like CNN, that work to undermine not only the Trump presidency but America itself, didn't care for that tweet much and called it a schoolyard taunt and outburst and claimed that it could ignite a nuclear war. CNN did not bother to explain how while North Korea does have outdated nuclear weapons, they do not have the proper technology that would allow those weapons to get very far. On Wednesday, President Trump's tweet was proven highly effective, as Kim Jong-un has, in a historic move, decided to reopen communication with South Korea. These communications were shut down two years ago, during the failed Obama presidency. The move is widely thought to be a major step in the de-escalation of tensions between North and South Korea. Vyanit North Korea reopened a border hotline with South Korea on Wednesday, restoring a channel of direct dialogue and signaling a possible thaw in relations between the two Koreas after years of hair-trigger tensions. The fast-moving political developments have given new hope for a warming of ties between the two long-standing enemies. On Tuesday, South Korea's president, Moon Jae-in, who has called for dialogue with the North since his inauguration in May, quickly embraced Mr. Kim's offer of talks. His government proposed that high-level negotiators from both Koreas meet at Panmunjom next Tuesday to discuss the North's Olympic participation. We will connect with the South with a sincere and diligent attitude, Ri Sun Kwan, a senior North Korean official, said Wednesday in a statement on state-run television announcing the hotline's reopening. We once again express our sincere hope that the Pyongyang Olympics will be successful. North Korea's overture was a dramatic reversal of its previous approach to South Korea. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.